Hello and welcome to today's Show Me Tech Tips. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to multiply and divide using Excel. And this follows on from a video I did recently on adding and subtracting Excel. You can check it out by looking at the description below. I've also put a link to the workbook I'm using so you can follow along and follow the steps as I'm doing them. Let's get started. Okay, so let's get started on how to multiply using Excel. So it's a very straightforward process. So I've got some data here, I've got item description, I've got cost and I've got quantity and I just want to work out the total cost and put that into a new column. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make it an Excel table. If you're not sure why I'm doing that, have a look back at the adding and subtracting video. I'll put a link in the description below and you can see why we do that. So to do that, I'm going to highlight the data, put as table and go for light. Press OK. And we've now got it as an Excel table. So then, column I want here, I want it to be total cost. Make that a little bit wider. And I'm just going to copy the starting. I'm going to do that by using the Format Painter. And there we go. I'm just going to sort out the borders very quickly. So it's all looking nice and neat. So now I need to enter the formula. So I'm going to do that in the first cell. Do that by pressing equals. And then I need to tell it what two things I'm going to multiply by. So I'll do cost times quantity. So I'm going to click on the cost. Now for the times in Excel, um, it's not a dot as you might expect if you're used to doing dot product of something. Uh, and if you're in the UK, you might be used to using the time sign. But on the computer, of course, it's the star for times or multiplying. So we're going to use a star and then we're going to put four. So you can see here it says cost times quantity. I'm going to press return and you can see it's filled those in. Let me just make those a little bit bigger as well. So they just make it a bit clearer. So again, that formula is cost times quantity. And because it's in the table, it all gets filled in. If I change the quantity, so I change that to five, you can see that uh, row gets updated. Okay, let's have a look at divide. Again, I've got a similar situation here. I've got, already got my data in, I've got my days. So imagine you're in a restaurant, working Monday through Sunday. You've got total tips and you pull the tips and then you divide those equally amongst all the staff who worked on that day. So I want to work out how much each member of staff should get. So again, at the moment it's not in a table. So my first job is to put it into a table. I highlight it, format as table, and OK. And then I'm going to put an extra column. Tips for each staff member. Again, I'm going to copy across the heading styling. Now it's going to be big, so I'm going to make that column a little bit wider. And just narrow it back down. Again, I'm just going to put the borders back on to make it nice and neat. So what I want to do is do the total tips divided by the number of staff. So I'm going to click in this first box, press equals to tell I want to put something that uh, I need it to work out. Click on the total tips and then divide, which is forward slash. So forward slash number of staff. You can see there it's going to be total tips divided by the number of staff. I press return and again, you can see it's putting those values in. You know, I change the number of staff, it will automatically update that straight away. So there you have it, a very simple guide to multiplying and dividing in Excel. So this has been Show Me Tech Tips, and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to get more tips on using programs like Excel and Microsoft Office and other tech-related tips, reviews, and tutorials.